right, Stinky. Oh, hello, my little poppets. Well, welcome to story time once again. Well, we're all rather excited here today, aren't we, Stinky? Yes, we are, and I'll tell you why, my little poppets. Today, Stinky and I went for a drive out to the country, and we ended up going for a bushwalk. And sometimes when you're in the bush, Stinky, you see lots of animals, don't you, dear? Yes, you do. And anyway, as we were heading back to our car after our bushwalk, we came across a baby wombat. And I've got him here in this cap. Now, he's quite tiny and very, very small. I don't know if I can hold him up there. Thank you, Stinky. So you can see he's snuggled up there in a little white blanket. You can just see the fur sticking out there. And he's quite lovely and soft. But later on, we've got a lady coming who works at the Animal Rescue Centre and she's going to be taking the little wombat and taking care of him. And then I suppose he'll be released back into the bush, won't he, Stinky? Yes, he will. Well, Stinky will pop, carefully pop little wombat down there. He's very, very quite fast asleep there. And today, my little poppets, the story is called... Thank you, Stinky dear. Sebastian lives in a hat which is also about a rather wonderful wombat look at that except this wombat is quite pink and I think that's because when they're very very young they're quite small they don't have any fur not like ours I think he's a probably a good deal older than that one isn't he stinky yes because he does have fur anyway oh and I also should mention I don't know if you can see, but we've got a rather lovely tree beside, just at the back of me here at the side. Now, Stinky and I were having a chat the other day about all the wonderful books that we've read, and we have read an awful lot, my little poppets, we certainly have. And Stinky said, you know what? I think we should make a story tree, and then we can put all the title, titles, I should say, of the books on the story tree so we don't forget the books that we've read now i don't think we're going to be able to fit all of those on the story tree but what have we got there stinky can you see here we've got detective ted the dreadful fluff rita's rhino lots of others there silly billy i remember that story silly billy so we thought that we'd do that and i think it's quite a good tree isn't it stinky yes it is i'm quite proud of that one hang up what's that I'm waffling on again. Yes, I know. I tend to waffle on, don't I? Oh, you're a funny fellow. What would I do without you? Well, we'll crack on. I'll pop Stinky down here. He can sit down here amongst the cushions where it's lovely and comfy. And we'll get on with the story. Oh, I do tend to waffle on. Silly Mrs. Whiff and Waffle. Oh. Sebastian lives in a hat. And here we go, my little poppets. Sebastian lives in a hat. It's a brown woolen hat. Sebastian's a pink fuzzy wombat and there's a hat there on a lovely rug. The hat there right in the middle. Doesn't look like there's a wombat in it yet. He won't always be pink and fuzzy. The hat won't always be big enough for him. Well I suppose it won't because he'll grow up eventually. He won't be so tiny. And you can just see a tiny little pink snout sticking out of there. Pink nose. Sebastian hasn't always lived in a hat. He used to live in a warm, dark place. It was his mother's pouch. Sebastian feels safe in his hat. It is warm and round and soft, just like his mother's pouch. Well, I suppose it would be. Lovely and warm. It does look like a lovely warm hat, I have to say. Nice and snug in there. Sebastian's mother was killed by a car. Oh dear. But he lay safe in her pouch. He was very frightened when we found him and very, very hungry. Poor fellow. Oh, that's awfully sad. But you know what, my little poppets? Sometimes that does happen. Unfortunately, animals often wander onto the road and sometimes they do get hit by cars which is very sad. Oh well. We held him close to keep him warm, but he was soon cold. We quickly found him a hot water bottle. We also found his hat. And there he is there, 
in a lovely warm hat on a hot water bottle to keep him nice and warm and snug. Oh, poor little fellow. Sometimes Sebastian leaves his hat to search for food. Sebastian can't walk properly yet. He wobbles a lot, then flops on his tummy and crawls. And there he is trying to walk. He's got lovely long claws there, which wombats use for digging when they're in the bush. Oh, simply marvellous what wonderful creatures they are. Soon we found him. We put him back in his hat and he has his bottle. Well, baby wombats drink from a bottle. How about that? Well, I suppose he has to because he doesn't have his mother anymore. So he has to take milk from a bottle. Wonderful. Ah, Sebastian's mother always kept her pouch clean. So after his feed, he has a little job to do. And there he is going to the toilet in a bucket. Having a wee there. Well, he has, have a, has had a lot of milk. It was warm and damp in the pouch and just right for Sebastian's skin. We have to rub him with oil now so his skin doesn't dry and peel. Sometimes he enjoys that, but not if our hands are cold. Soon he goes back to sleep in his warm woolen hat. Oh yes, he doesn't look like he likes that very much. I suppose he wouldn't like it if the hands were a little bit cold. Oh, what a cute wombat he is. Sometimes Sebastian has to change his brown hat for a grey hat. He won't say why, but when the brown hat is dry, Sebastian has it back again and he is happy. And there's his favourite hat drying on the clothesline there, so he has to make do with the grey one. Cheeky fellow. Every day Sebastian grows a little bigger and stronger. He has four sharp pointy teeth now and sometimes he likes to try them out. And there he is there. Looks like he has a slipper and he's tearing it to pieces. Oh, wombats like to chew things. Look at that. Well, I suppose that's no good anymore. Have to get a new pair of slippers. He has strong sharp claws too. And one day he will use them to dig a burrow for himself. Well, that's right, isn't it? Because they do live in burrows and they like to use their claws and and dig about in the dirt. But right now they're just great for having a scratch. Ah, oh, and there he is there, having a scratch. I suppose they would be very useful for that. He had an itchy tummy or something. Sebastian's eyes are small and dark and his ears are pink and big. His nose is soft and spotty. When he's big, his eyes and ears and nose will help him find his way in the bush at night and then he will do what wombats should do. There he is there again in his lovely woolen hat there. Oops. Oh, there he is playing peekaboo, hide and seek under the hat. But he may still love his hat. What do you think? I don't know, perhaps he'll always love his hat. And there he is, all grown up, with his woolen hat on. Well, Sebastian lives in a hat. That's a lovely story, it's a different one. We certainly have learned a thing or two about wombats. Fabulous, fabulous book, I think. Well, I'll have a chat to Stinky and see what he thought about the book. Stinky dear, did you enjoy that book? You did? Oh, well, that's wonderful. It was good how Sebastian found the hat, wasn't it? It was nice and warm and snug in there. What's that? Will our wombat be all right? Yes, I think it will. That lady's going to come later today and she'll take care of the wombat and know what to do. All right then? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Well, my little poppets, I'm afraid we have come to the end of story time. I hope you enjoyed that one. Sebastian lives in a hat. Perhaps you could make your own story tree or you need is some cardboard. But don't forget, if you're going to use scissors or anything sharp like that, it's best to get a grown up to help you because scissors are awfully sharp, aren't they, Stinky? Yes, they are. Don't forget to tune in for two videos at the end of every week. And until next time.